here, since I arrived in Toulouse, I started running. And along the year, I ran many races. In the first one, as we were running the last meters of the race, the organization, as they saw our numbers, they started calling us by our names. That was wonderful. Imagine, Ludi, Jonathan. Courage, Ludi, courage, Jonathan. Everyone, and especially the last runners, were received by a very warm welcome. Everybody calling them and applauding them. This is how I got to know Beatriz Gonzalez. In the first race that I ran last March, she was coming the last one. And I remember her face arriving there the last one. Then, in another race, I thought that I had seen her again. This time, what I heard is that the last person that they called over the ski system, it was Beatriz Gonzalez. Afterwards, home, I went into the internet and I checked the names. It was her both of the times. In the first race, she finished the last one. In the second time, in Bosel, she was the last again. She was the last again in Guillemur Sortar, in the semi-marathon, in so many other races. Madame Contester, fellow members, Yes. One day, I was telling Luca, my partner here, this story about Beatriz. I remember that I explained her how much I admire Beatriz for taking up the courage of running race after race despite of being the last one every single time. How wrong I was with this conclusion. Fellow Toastmaster, remember here the Pokertown? The father of modern Olympic Games, his words were, we hear them in the special event. The important thing is not about winning, is to take part. He was mentioning in the special event weeks ago. You may think that these words are only used when we are not winning, but they are much more profound than that. Forget about Beatriz. Take my case. Do you think that I won any of those races? Do you think so? I didn't win any of them. The first one, when I first saw her, I finished the 420 second. In Bosel, the second time, I finished the 86. In the semi marathon, 600 whatever. In the marathon, 1000 whatever. Do you think that it mattered? What did I get? In one race, I got one diploma. In other, just a teacher. In the marathon, well, my dad. I didn't care whether I was finishing in the first quarter or in the last quarter of the pack. To me, everyone in each single race felt like a victory. Fellow Toastmasters, Christian over there explained it perfectly two weeks ago in Science Biker Speech. What we do save ourselves. Taking part in all those races, training for them despite of the cold weather in the winter or the heat in the summer, despite of the rain, sticking to the plan, running when your muscles are sore from having run a race the day before. This regularity, this confidence, the strength, the health from exercising, this is what we get. Fellow Toastmasters, what do you think this speech contest today is about? Do you still think that this contest is about winning? It is not. Our fellow Toastmaster member, John Zimmer from Switzerland, who has won several times European District, District 59 speech contest, once said, if I could only give one a piece of advice to those competing, it would be this. Don't focus on winning. Focus only on your message to the audience. Fellow Toastmasters, this contest today is about our message to the audience. It's about taking up the courage to stand up here and speak before an audience. A larger audience than every week in our club. A larger audience 
at each stage of the competition. It is about having one idea, building a speech around it, and a speech that may give some value to the audience. It is about rehearsing it at home. It is about asking help to someone in order to improve your speech. About getting feedback. About practicing it, and finally, about enjoying the delivery of faith before you. This contest is about persuading, entertaining, or inspiring. It is about improving ourselves. Madame Gospel